My name's Virginia and I'm a volunteer with the Doorstep Library. Today I thought you might like to learn how to make a pasta necklace at home. It's very simple because you can just find things around the house to paint it with, colour it with, um, any kind of pasta shape with a hole. I found these in my house. Um, this happens to have a large hole but it will work just as well if you have smaller pastas with a smaller hole. So if you can, if you have a few of those, I'll show you how you can color them in. Now these, I'm going to take them off my wool. And again, I've found some wool around the house, but you don't need that. You could have string, um, any kind of uh, string that you can use for a necklace would be fine. These were painted using my watercolors and I'll show you those here in my dish different colors. I'm going to show you how to paint one. Here's one that needs to be colored. I think I'll choose the red. So if this paint is watercolors it's a bit watery. I'm just going to dip it in. I've got a paintbrush coat it all over. Uh, you need to have a piece of newspaper handy because it does drip a little bit. So get it all coated like that. And I'm just going to put it on the newspaper to dry. So I'm just going to leave that. If you want to change colors, don't forget you've got to wash the brush out. So have a pot of water handy and I'll choose the next color. Let's see, I think I'll do a sort of a blue, here we are, let's try that again, give it a good coating, don't worry if your fingers get a bit painty, that's part of the fun, uh, coat it all over, give it a nice brushing with the paint and set it down to dry. So you can't really do much until it's dry, so we're just going to have to leave that. Another way of doing the paints, you could use if you've just got some poster paints around the house like this. This has got purple. Again, pick up your pasta, give it a good brush, give it all, all over. Again, don't worry if your fingers get a bit painty. You can always go and wash them off. And it's a good idea if you wear an apron or something old that you don't mind having a bit of paint on. And you can see my fingers are getting a bit purpley, but I don't really mind that. So let's put that down to dry like that. Another way of doing it, if you don't have any paints at home and you do have some felt tips. I've got a box of felt tips I found around the house. Let's try this one yellow. What you can do is pick up the pasta. Let's see if this is going to work. And just, well yellow is not the best color actually because the pasta is a bit yellow. So let me put that back and I'm going to try how about blue? Try a blue one. Let's try that again. Okay, here we go. Well, I think that's working a bit better. So you can rub it, rub it, rub it all over. And I'm not going to... That's going to take a little bit longer than painting. But look, it's a bit um, stripey there. Can you see that? That's kind of fun. I like that. I'm going to leave that one because I'm, I'm going to show you ones that I did do earlier and they came out rather nice. So I did a red one. I've done green. This is, remember these are with the felt tips so if you don't have paint you can do that and I did a pink one like that. So you let them dry and when they're dry you take your wool or your string and I've put a little Bit, did you see that? A little bit of tape at the end just so it's a bit more comfortable to hold and it goes through the holes. So let's see what happens now. I'm going to take my wool, 
I'm going to stick it through. That's the first one. Let's take this orange one. Let's try it again. Another one. And green. Let's try that. In it goes. Oh, I think I want to try that pink felt tip that I did earlier. These are some painted ones I did with the poster paints that I found around the house. I think that's a nice bright yellow one. Remember, you don't need to make them all one color like this. You can do blue and put some spots on or maybe some stripes and get really imaginative and really creative. So I've got a few on there. Now you could fill it up or you could leave it just as it is and you can have someone tie a knot at the back to make it into a lovely necklace. So that's um, a bit of art fun at home for you today. So thank you for watching and have fun. Um, and thank you for watching this e-video from the Doorstep Library. Bye.